program and it looks like you're going to be good. Okay. I was also talking about here with Allison McNeil, coach of the, the Canada women's national team. That's awesome. Now, you guys are, qual are attempting to qualify right now for next year's Olympics. How are you guys doing in that? Well, we haven't started yet, but we're preparing. Uh, the players are preparing on their own. We'll get together in May, and we're actually training out at University of Fraser Valley in Abbotsford. So come out and cheer us on, and they're training. And then we'll go in se this coming September to Colombia to qualify. So that'll, we'll have to meet the likes of Cuba, Argentina, uh, Puerto Rico, Brazil. So it's tough, but we're aiming to qualify. That's a tough job, but I wish you guys great luck with that. Also, in this tournament, do you guys have any scouts, any people that you're scouting in for developing for the next future years? Um, I, I come, when I come to watch, I certainly watch players, and we keep a long list. We keep yeah. a list of uh, a depth chart of players of, in all provinces across the entire country. So, uh, I also do a lot of the scouting at the uh, Center for Performance CP, where I coach um, Kaylee from Missouri and a couple other athletes uh, from. from oh, so she's going to be now. playing. So, we're always she's playing. playing. Yeah, she's yeah, always yeah. Kaylee Sakuri has been dominating this game so far, and she is quite the dominant athlete that indeed. Do you have Do you have any predictions on how far she'll make it in her career with basketball? Well, you know, no, I, I kind of try not to do that. I think it's, mm. it's a lot of it's dependent on how, yeah, how much, much they want it. I'm going to try and throw it on YouTube on the website just so uh, kids can see what Broadcasting 12 kind of kind of goes. I just want to keep promoting it. Keep it. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you.